Oh, again, everybody's Plyboy, Plyboy's Ghost Channel. I'm going to show you the, what I reacquired. Um, <laughs> I did a video with this back in September of 2017. Uh, and within a couple of months of that, it was probably within two or three months of that, I traded this off to a buddy of mine and had a chance just a short while ago to, to, uh, to trade for it back. So that's what I did. You remember that Rossi uh, 92 six, uh, 16 inch big loop trapper, kind of a uh, John Wayne esque model. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a real handy truck gun. I put this in the back seat. We went to uh, up the road toward uh, Kentucky, drug the camper up to Clarksville, Tennessee, and stayed at the campground and. Uh, this thing was with me in the camper. It was with me in the back seat of the truck, under the back seat of the truck for a little while. Y'all, that right there is about as handy as a little carbine can get. 45 Colt, of course. I don't have the Buffalo Boar deer grenades and stuff in it that I had last time in that video. But uh, just my standard load, 45 Colt load that are in all eight of my 45 Colt chambered firearms at the time this moment which I did uh, I did check the zero on it one day I can't do it today but uh, I did check the zero on it one day and I forgot how hard this load hits that steel plate out of a uh, out of a rifle or a carbine it really moves it but anyway uh, what can I think to tell you that I didn't already like I said, I know this is not like a tactical AR for a truck gun or whatever. I've, I've got those, but I'm not all of that fond. Well, I won't say I'm not fond of them because I've been keeping ARs here lately. But they just don't have no soul to them. That wood and steel and a lever gun, saddle, saddle rain carbine, right there is about it. I'm going to leave... Just regular old sights on this. I'm not going to put any kind of peep sights on it. Just going to leave it alone. Leave it a light, handy truck gun. And I could have done sold this and traded it off three or four times since I got it back just a few weeks ago. But this is going nowhere again because I, I really kind of did miss this gun. I still ain't pulled a safety off of this one. That's one thing I'm going to do. I'm sure a lot of y'all are familiar with putting a, this, putting a plug up there in it or just grinding that one off and did a little bit of work. I did it on one before, but you know, I, when I deer hunted with previous models that I've had of the Rossi 92, and when I deer hunted with this one, when I'm wearing gloves, I actually did accidentally set it on safe a couple of times. You know, I'm I'm used to going around with just, you know, half cock, the little safety notch, safety cock, whatever you want to call it. Just like I do all them, on all them others. I ain't wanting no cross bolt safeties. I don't really need this little gizmo up here. I don't, sure don't want no tang safety. As long as it's got a safety notch or a half cock, that's all you need. So I am going to do away with that plug. Uh, I mean, put a plug in it, do away with that manual safety. This is a short and maybe sweet video. I'd like to uh, thank everybody for watching. And yeah, we're going to shoot a few more things on video pretty soon. Matter of fact, I'm tempted to, I'm tempted to shoot it now. You'll know if I did or not whether or not it's added on to this. Talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.